Hello everyone, this is Angela Colaretti mcgough from the Office of Retention, Advising, and Career Preparation at Chaminade University. Today I'm going to go over how to find on and off campus jobs using the system we call Simplicity. First I'll show you where to access Simplicity. From the Chaminade University of Honolulu website, click into your browser and just add slash careers. This takes you to the Chaminade Career Preparation page. In the future, you can log into Simplicity directly from the student's link and by clicking on Simplicity and Login. Before we get started, however, you need to set up your password. All Chaminade students have an email address. Check that email for a welcome message from Chaminade Careers. In it, you'll be introduced to Simplicity as well as some of the upcoming events that we have this semester. Click on the Set Your Password link, which will take you directly to the Simplicity website. You're welcome to set your own password using at least six characters. It does not need to be a password that you have used for any of your other Chaminade accounts. Once you have been connected to Simplicity, it will show that your password has been updated. You're now on the home page of Simplicity. Today we're going to go over how to complete a job application for student employment. This is valid for the spring semester of 2016. The first thing you'll need to do is to update your Simplicity account. When you click on Jobs, your account information will show up. It's important that you update your personal profile as well as your academic profile. Here you'll see your contact information. You're welcome to change your email address at this time. As you can see, whatever we have uploaded is the most current information in your permanent and your current address. Click in the box to change your current address. This is important because it will allow you to use all of the functions on the site and it will auto-populate this information. You must update the country. When you've completed these fields, click on Next. This will take you to your academic profile. Please enter the great date that you expect to graduate your year in school, what type of applicant you are, this should be already filled out, and then select the clubs and activities that you are participating in. If there are none at this time, select none at this time. Click on your work authorization, and then next. Your privacy settings should be updated. Resume Books is a feature that we offer to only a handful of employers. They are able to download all active resumes on Chaminade's Simplicity website. Unless you're in an active job search, I suggest that you keep this at No. The same goes for a global talent search. Unless you're in an active job search and you are interested in working internationally, I suggest that you keep this at No. We do not do text messages, however we do send job listings by email. I suggest that you select yes for the job blasts. We may send out two to three emails at the most per semester. Again, click next. You will now be brought to the resume screen. However, we first need to find a job that we're interested in. The Jobs feature shows all of the Career Services Manager jobs that are listed at Chaminade. These have been reviewed by our office, but we cannot guarantee that we know the employers personally. These employment opportunities are nationwide. If you would like to look for specifically student work, you can click on the Student Work tab. This will show you all of the positions that are currently available at Chaminade. To see more information, click on the link. 
Positions that say you must be eligible for federal work study require that you have a federal work study award through your financial aid package. If you do not have federal work study, you are not able to apply for this position. There are other positions available that do not require federal work study funds. You can still apply your federal work study to these student work types but any student can apply to them. If you are ready to apply for the job, you need to submit a student employment application. At this time, you do not have any student employment application documents. To upload a document, you must first create it. Click on the Chaminade student employment application link. A Word document file will be downloaded to your computer. We recommend that you use a PC to complete this form so that the checkboxes function properly. If you're unable to access a PC, we recommend that you use the highlight function in order to select your option. Please fill out your application completely. To find out if you are eligible or you're receiving federal work study funds, please check with the financial aid office. We're interested in knowing what your previous work and volunteer history is. Include information such as student athletics, club or organization service, or service learning opportunities. This will give the supervisor an idea of your work ethic, punctuality, attendance, and also what skills you might have. Most new students are not golf cart or van certified. Please also note your level of skill and experience with email, Microsoft Word, and Excel, which are the most commonly used applications on our campus. On page two, we'd like to know what your availability is. Most campus positions require between five and 15 hours of work. Some departments may request as much as 18 hours per week. As a student employee, you are unable to work more than 18 hours, with very few exceptions. Most campus departments operate on the weekdays only. If you're available on weekends, during breaks, or summer session, please check this as your student employment application can be used for a number of positions. Look at your current availability for the semester. Check off any of the dates and times, days and times that you are available. Each box represents the start time, so this here is 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Most offices do not open as early as 6.30 in the morning or work after 4.30 p.m., but if you are available, you can check these boxes. Once you've completed your entire application, make sure that you verify you've read the job description you are applying for. Also verify that you are submitting this information that is true and to the best of your knowledge. Now you need to save your student employment application. Once you've saved your application, Return to Simplicity. Click on Documents. This takes you to where you will upload your student employment application. Click on Add New and select Student Employment Application from the Choices. Find your file and click on it and then give it a name. Click on Submit. The form will be uploaded and you can update your privacy settings. Again, I suggest that you click on No for all of the options except for Email Job Lasts. Save changes and continue. Your employment application will be converted from a Word document to a PDF. Once the document has been converted, you're now able to return to the job site, find your position, and click on the Apply button. 
the student employment application will be automatically populated here. Once you click on submit, an email will be sent to the supervisor who will then determine if you meet their criteria for an interview or to start working. If you have any questions about student work, please visit us at the Office of Retention, Advising, and Career Preparation, or you can contact any of our staff members directly. Thank you for watching and have a great day.